What's going on summoners? This is Marshall the Captain here from Main Deck Masters and we have another best of three game for you guys today. It's going to be purple yellow glute vault versus red purple tyrantosaurus. Jacob versus Mr. Jamar. Super excited that these guys came out to our regionals and our locals and we were able to record a couple of games for both channels. So we're going to be doing keep on the eye out for a lot of content coming from us. Big shout out to Mr. Jamar's YouTube channel. Be sure to check his channel out. Link in the description below. We got a lot of good games for you and we're gonna get going. Mr. Jamar decided to take a mulligan and Jacob decided to keep. So Mr. Jamar is gonna be on the play and we're gonna see what he does after he draws his turn, draws for turn. Turn one, Bless Cathedral. He's gonna drop it. He's gonna hopefully try to get something going here. Jacob's gonna drop that Ferocious Prison. Seems like a lot of decks right now, turn one is most of the time it's gonna be a Nexus. We're definitely in a Nexus heavy meta right now, and I, I, I'm all here for it. The blue player's here for it. Mr. Jamar is going to drop that Detective Pentan, and he's going to hopefully try to get something going with his Blessed Cathedral draws and ramps. Let's see if he can get anything going here. Here comes that Ferocious Prison. He's going to discard a Tyrantosaurus. It's going to pop that Pentan, and then he's going to Burning Force the Blessed Cathedral. He's like, no. You're not getting any kind of, any kind of reductions, any kind of advantage. We're, we're stopping you in your tracks. Jamar's gonna draw. He's gonna look at his cores and he's gonna pass. There's nothing he can do here. Looks like Jacob's gonna run out of Dread Knight Nemesis on turn three. Ugh. There's something you don't wanna see on turn three. You can't let him get it around, get it back around to his turn. But he's gonna kill the, he's gonna deadly balance it right away. That way it gets rid of that. Jacob's gonna run out another nemesis. This time he's gonna swing it and use its effect to kill itself to draw to. Looks like Mr. Jamar is gonna play that hellish birthday and he's gonna pay full, full cost for it, which is always rough to see. That's why he couldn't do anything the last turn. He's gonna run out that detective Pentan and he's that Pentan is gonna punch it, Jacob in the mouth. He's like, I'm back. Jacob gonna do here. He's, he's gonna play down that rotting swamp, and again, Nexus heavy meta, baby. Again, I'm here for it. Here comes another ferocious prison, discarding the Ofe, which is one of the promos that we just got. Yep, when it's discarded, he gets to play it, and then he, they have three or more magic cards in their trash. It gains raid. And the Orfe is gonna swing and it's gonna it's gonna get it's gonna punch Mr. Jamar. We're gonna see what happens after this. Can Jamar answer this? He's gotta start trying to answer something on this board. These Nexuses are gonna run rampant because he's getting Jacob's getting so much reduction here. And he, here comes the Death Sword Fighter Dolabone. Dolabone's gonna start generating advantage. From the from the perspective of the control player and from Jacob's perspective, you have to start trying to deal with this Dula Bone. This Dula Bone is hit, definitely his priority because you're gonna have to. It's gonna start generating that advantage that Jamar needs to keep himself in this game by cycling his two drops back and just doing like keeping his blockers up and everything. So you've gotta, if you're from Jacob's perspective here, you have to deal with this Dula Bone. Looks like he's gonna core up those ferocious prisons. He's digging for something. He's digging for some kind of answer or something. Here comes the Bard Orfe swinging with one core. If it if it dies, it dies. Yep, there goes the deadly killing off the Pentan. That Pentan's gonna let him get back that hellish birthday. Yep. And Jacob's gonna sack off the Venom Raptor, draw a card off the Rotting Swamp, but since the Spear died at the end of turn, he's gonna trigger his Ferocious Prisons and he's gonna draw three. Jamar's gonna re, he's gonna untap, he's gonna get his core back. He's gonna core up that Dula Bone. He's gonna play up the Dark Demo Bones. And he kind of claw his way back into this game because it is currently a very uphill climb. 
He's going to swing that Dillabone. He's going to bring back that Detective Pentan. And this is what I meant by he's establishing some a kind of resource loop to where he's getting blocker after blocker after blocker. And he's going to be able to just constantly get advantage here. Here comes that Rotting Swamp. Here comes a Crimson Knight. But I have a feeling, yep, he's that Crimson Knight's got, not going to be sticking around for long. Here comes the Tyrannosaurus. And Jacob's going to core up that Tyrannosaurus. He's going to trigger those Rotting Swamps because it is the battle phase. Tyrannosaurus rumbling in. He is rumbling, stumbling, sometimes bumbling right into a deadly balance. Jamar's doing a really good, he's doing a really good job of keeping him off of spirits and just building his board back up. But at this point, how long is that going to last? How long is he going to be able to actually do what he needs to do to get into the game? Yep, here comes the Dark Demo Bones. He's going to core up the Duel Bone. He's going to swing. He's going to bring back the demo, the Dark Demo Bones again. He runs into an ice shield. That's one out of the way. You can see in Jacob's hand that he's got stacked removal spells and he's waiting. He is he is sacking these removal spells and he's just waiting on them. Yep, there, there's the exhaust next. It's after summoning Earth Spider Demon and the Beldegore. He's going to kill both of them. Beldegore, he's going to set it aside because that immortal is going to come into play here. Here comes another Earth Spider Demon. This one's only got the Soul Core on it, so it's only going to it's going to rip, and then it's it's there to rip and die. Here comes the Tyrannosaurus. Tyrannosaurus is going to get cored up. It's going to pop the Earth Spider Demon. It's going to draw two. But then that Earth Spider Demon is going to trigger the Immortal for Beldegore. So now if you're Jacob here, you just swing the Tyrannosaurus, rumble in, and you could honestly doubly deadly here. But he, he is running very light on cores, I will say. So doubly deadly probably isn't the play here. But Jamar is going to block with that Detective Pentan. It is going to trigger the Tyrannosaurus, and he's going to take one, but it's going to pick up that Exhaust Nexus. Does Jacob swing the Beldegore? Yep, he's going to swing that Beldegore. Yep, Jamar is going to block with that Dark Demo Bones. You can't let you can't go to one against this deck, against this red purple deck. If you go to one against this red purple deck, you're one Tyrannosaurus swing away from just losing. Here comes the Miser Glute Vault. Looks like Jamar's going to core up that Miser Glute Vault. He's going to set a burst. Looks like he set that exhaust nexus that he picked up last turn off the Detective Pentan. That Miser Glove Vault's going to rip all the cores off that Tyrannosaurus, and it's going to rip all the cores off that Belgore. Here comes the core theft. It's going to... I don't believe he's going to ditch enough to kill the Miser or the Bone, so he's just going to ditch one to kill the Demo. And then he's going to Deadly, which is going to get rid of the Miser. And he's going to deadly to finally get rid of that dual bone to stop that resource loop. Here comes the dentist. Brings out that brutal dino Tyrantosaurus. Pop dentist. He's going to draw two. Dentist is going to trigger gonna mill two and draw a card but that dentist is gonna trigger i believe it triggers either the i believe it triggers the grim gambler here comes the tyrannosaurus swinging in and it runs straight into a deadly balance again 
drawing two more. Yep, he's Jacobs is drawing his drawing his deck away, bringing out dentists after that. Mr. Jamar is going to hit that strong draw and he's going to see what he can dig for. Looks like he didn't get too good of draws. Being at one is not good. It's not good at all. I think this may be all she wrote for this game. I hate to say it. And but I believe the black lady may be getting, she may be warming up here. Maybe warming up. Yeah, I think this may be it for Mr. Jamar in game one. Is he just he can't do anything? He's gonna swing that demo bones. He's gonna run into a doubly deadly, and then that that is game. That is game one. Because there comes the Grim Gambler. The Grim Gambler is going to be out for the Tyrant Source. The Tyrant Source is going to swing, and whether it whether he blocks it or whether he takes it, he's going to take one. On to game two. Let's see if we got a best of three here. So we're going to see if Mr. Jamar can win this one out, or is Jacob just going to sweep and run it home? Mr. Jamar is going to run out that Grim Gambler. Is he going to swing and knock Jacob to four? Looks like he is. He's gonna knock Jacob down to four. Jacob's gonna obviously take it and not do any burst. That burst is probably a star blessed, I would say. But he's gonna he's gonna pop that Earth Spider Demon onto the board. That Earth Spider Demon's gonna kill that Grim Gambler. You know what they say, an eye for an eye. Here comes another Grim Gambler. But this time, this one's been cored up a little bit. Won't immediately die to the Earth Spider Demon. And Jacob's gonna take it, go to three. Mm, let's see what he does here. He's gonna ritual fire that Grim Gambler. Lord, but he's not gonna swing. He's not gonna put him to three. I wonder if it's he wants to keep a blocker up or does he wanna keep like, does he not want to give him the core advantage? But at this point, you've given him enough cores to do whatever he wants. Like, here comes that, here comes that blessed cathedral. Hopefully, this one sticks around longer than the last one did. And that dark demo bones. Are we going to see a ferocious prison into a burning force again? Maybe? Yes? No? Maybe so? Jamar's like, I'm not, I'm not waiting around for you to do things. I'm gonna swing this dark demo bones. I'm gonna get advantage out of this bus cathedral while I got it. Who knows if it'll be around next turn? He can't afford to be passive. Jacob's gonna go to two. Here comes the Beldegor popping the popping the dark demo bones. Looks like he's gonna pass back over to Mr. Jamar. Jamar's gonna get his cores. Let's see what he does. He's finally got a he's got a, a reduction to stick on the board. And another blessed cathedral comes down. Now he's now whether or not he pops his nexus or not. All right, he's got to have two removal spells for it now. He's got to have two burning forces or burning force hell crack or any combination. He's just going to pass on over back to Jacob. Apparently, Jamar's in the lead with life, but we'll see how long that lasts because he's in the lead with life, but Jacob's in the lead with board state. Here comes that Black Lance drawing two cards, and he just he just fetched Tyrannosaurus. He just found one. He's got to figure out a way to get that Tyrannosaurus into his drop. Jacob's going to swing that Black Lance, and then after that, he's going to pass back over to Jamar. Jamar's gonna slam that miser glute vault.
that's one thing i will say about set five is all of the just about all of the dual colored x-rays spawned their own deck and they're all great decks like they're all really good they're all super fun to pilot they're super fun to play and they're new strategies that have come about and it's so great to see it's what's got us all excited for set six yep you should have just blocked it because now those grim gamblers that that were turn one turn two they're back and he ramped and drew off that blessed cathedral But now he's gonna use those cores on that blessed cathedral to core up that grim gambler and he's gonna swing it with blessed he's gonna burst out a ritual fire and it's gonna get rid of one of those grim gamblers but the one that had blessed is still on the board this point i think it, i think if you're jmar you're you're just you're good now your cathedrals have done their job your cathedrals have done their job your gamblers have done their job and you're just starting to establish a resource loop now with your grant with your gamblers and everything you draw so even if they get removed you just i don't think you care at this point yep here comes the hell crack destroying one of the cathedrals okay we're gonna use another one gonna use another one or is he gonna use a burning force is he gonna do something he's gonna hell crack the other one definitely one of the most underrated magics i would say out of set five like a lot of colors a lot of colors definitely did get some good magics water spout for red blue hell crack game of destruction snow melting light it's got me super excited to see the um the magics out of set six here comes the Beldegor into the Underworld Casino. Underworld Casino triggering. I believe it, it won't trigger because it didn't have the cores on it. Here comes that Grim Gambler coming in. That Grim Gambler's coming in and he's ready to partay. And then there's the Deadly Balance to close out the game. All right, Jmar, Jmar managed to claw it back in game two. Let's see if he can continue this momentum into game three. Here comes that Dragon Naga Assassin. And that just goes to show you how, how we are with games here. And especially in Battle Spirit Saga, that's something that is nice to see. Is you, You're still seeing set one starter decks. You're seeing cards from those set one starter decks still being played to this day. Here comes the lost chip into, into a detective pentan. We're going to see a ritual fire. Nope, a ferocious prison does the job. Jacob's not going to swing. He doesn't have the cores to core up that dragon R assassin to be able to swing, but we're going to play Jamar's gonna play out that that blessed cathedral into that detective pentan and shades of game one. Are we gonna see a replay of game one? Nope. Looks like it's just gonna be that Dragonaga assassin's gonna swing. It's gonna be blocked by that detective pentan, and then he's gonna he's gonna ramp one off that blessed cathedral. Here comes the Beldegore to, to kill the Dragonaga assassin. Talk about a card that just gets better over time. Jacob's gonna draw. Looks like he drew a burning force. Is he gonna burning force here? He's gonna play out a Venom Raptor. And then he's gonna burning force a blessed cathedral. He's like, I don't want you having reductions on your board at all. Here's a draw for turn. And he's like, I've, I've learned your games, old man. You blow up one blessed cathedral, I'll play another one. Yep, 
Is this one gonna stick around? Burning force on the Blessed Cathedral. The beauty about hitting these, getting these burning forces out of the way is these burning forces are being used on his nexuses and not multiple copies of two drops, which is like the big, which is like the big thing here. Yep, here comes the Dragon Naga and the Venom Raptor. And that Venom Raptor is gonna tell him he can't block with that Beldegore. Dragon Naga has a Soul Core, so it's gonna trigger, make Beldegore unable to block. Gonna take it. Venom Raptor's gonna swing. He's gonna tell him he can't block. Here comes the hellish birthday. Bringing back the Pentan and the Lost Chip. He's generating a resource loot. He's gonna core up that Pentan, but he's gonna decor that Beldegore. He wants that Pentan to have that Soul Core. He wants to be able to cycle that, that hellish birthday back. Here comes another lost chip. And this is what I was meaning by he, those burning forces definitely being used on these nexuses is the better move here because now he can't get double burning force, then he's out of the game. Like he can't, if Jacob, if he had, if he used like a burning force here, it would have just completely destroyed Jamar. Here comes another ferocious prison with his targets. Both of the lost chips. Get those double, get those dual color reductions off the board, please. Put them in jail. Here comes that Earth Spider Demon. That Earth Spider Demon is gonna rip a core off that Detective Pentan. I'm no, I, I just know it. We can't see it, but that Soul Core is under the Detective Pentan, so it's still there. but it's just directly under the card. Yep, there goes the Detective Pintan getting ripped to core. So now won't be able to get the magic back if it dies. But here comes the Deadly Balance. Deadly Balance is gonna pop what? I believe it's gonna pop that. Yep, that Dragon Naga Assassin. Here comes the Venom Raptor. Jmar goes down to one. And again, you just, being at one against this deck is so rough. Looks like Jamar's gonna slam a glue vault. Looks like it. Yep, miser glue vault. Here he comes. Miser glue vault is here and he is pissed. He wants his money. It's gonna let him rip cores off of both of those spirits and kill both of them. But now, Mr. Jamar is hellbent. There's the doubly deadly. That's gonna let him get back that hellish birthday. Both players went down to no cards in hand. Here comes Beldegore. Both players are, ugh. Yep, but now because of those ferocious prisons, Jacob's gonna claw his way back into the game. He's gonna start accelerating now. He's done, I've, I've stopped Jamar all I need to. He's at one, I'm at four. I'm just gonna start drawing cards at this point. Here comes the Hellish Birthday. After the Underworld Casino? Yep. Getting the Pentan and the Dark Demo Bones triggering that Underworld Casino. He's making sure that his that his Pentan's cored up because he needs it to be. He's gonna core up that Underworld Casino because that Underworld Casino is gonna let him rip something to one at the beginning of the battle phase. He's gonna pass on over to Jacob. Jacob's gonna play out that Rotting Swamp. The draw engine has been established. There's the Hellcrack for the Underworld. Something about using Hellcrack on Underworld is pretty, I would say pretty fitting. That Pentan's gonna block. It's gonna pick up that Hellish Birthday again. 
with Jamar is that Jamar has, he's not stabilized, but he's pretty much just, he's starting to come back because he's now getting more spirits than Jacob is. But Jacob's had a burst set for the longest time and that we can assume that's probably an ice shield. And with him being at four, it's just rough. This is definitely an uphill climb for Jamar here. Because all Jacob needs to see is a Tyrannosaurus and it's over. If Jacob sees a Tyrannosaurus, the game is over. Looks like Jacob drew another deadly balance. And there's another Beldegore. Jacob's going to swing that one Beldegore. Jamar's preventing that Pentan from being core ripped. That Pentan's gonna pick up that hellish birthday. He's gonna block with that lost chip. Brocious prison gets a trigger. It's gonna let Jacob draw two. He's he's digging. He's just digging for that Tarantus horse. Jamar's gonna go ahead and position himself to play that hellish birthday. He's gonna go ahead and grab the lost chip and the Pentan out of his drop. Cause like he's just that's the problem with what's happening right now is Jamar's just spinning his wheels he's just spinning his wheels at this point Mr. Jamar seems to be he, he's going nowhere fast and Jacob has stomped on the gas and is not letting up here comes that dentist another rotting swamp He's going to swing the Beldegore. The Beldegore is weak enough that it'll... That it won't trade with that Pentan. Here comes Dentis. The doubly deadly. But that's going to let him pick up that magic off that Pentan. There's the Taranto. And it's like I said earlier. She's, she's piping up and she's singing. This here comes the Grim Gambler. And with that, I believe we have a game. Things the Gambler. And there's nothing he can do. What a game that was. That was absolutely wild. That match was absolutely crazy. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all my good friends. We'll, we hope to see you guys at Bandai Fest. And we're going to have a great time there. We're going to have a great time playing some Battle Spirits, slinging some cardboard. And hopefully we get to meet all you, all you guys out there. Super excited. We'll see you guys in the next game. Peace out.